Hello there. Do you like fairy lights? Do you like them all year round? We well, do. <laughs> when we first put these in, though, they kind of only got about this far. I'll explain why and how we solved that in this video. Ooh. Yeah, it goes so far because it's only so much wire. And that goes down to the plug down there. And obviously if we were to try and stretch it up there, the lead isn't long enough. So I'm gonna extend the lead. So I've wedged the cable in the window there. The uh, last LED is around there. This is the bit that plugs in there and we would need the plug to be there. So I've got some of this white conduit, and it's got a sticky back. So if we just stick that in place like that, this bit can go in the top of the conduit. So I've taken the front of the strip off. We haven't put it on yet, but that's roughly, I mean, obviously it's burning out a bit, but that's roughly how it's going to be. So that's where the cable's going to end. So the, the, it will plug in like that. So that'll put the switch there. Which if I look around the room, it's about the same height, roughly, as where the light switch is over there. So this is that power supply. And what we're going to do is insert some cable, which I've got this old uh, power cable. Great if mains, 240 volts. Um, so yeah, more than enough, three amp fuse it'll take. This is producing nothing like that sort of power. And so I'm gonna insert pretty much the whole of this in here. So that's one end sorted. Won't be needing this label anymore. Well, so for the other end, the pen knife comes in handy again. This time, a bit more brutally. There's no practical way to do anything other than just cut the end off. So we've now got. Oh, have we got enough? It's worth checking, isn't it? The other thing we're going to have to do is just. It goes a bit against the grain, I don't know if you find that when you're modifying something. You're going to take something that works perfectly well, actually nothing wrong with it, and we are going to just do that. Oh, brutal. Again, useful at this point to check that it did indeed have just the two wires. <laughs> so, fortunately, uh, the two bits of cable inside are different colours. Now I'm going to strip this back quite away because I want to have a, a bit of a gap. Uh, so I'm going to go, I think, around here. And I'm going to use what I call the ring bark method. Where you just, you probably can't see on the camera, but I can see there's a little bit of a, uh, a sort of, I managed to make a little bit of a notch in the plastic there. And I'm just going to kind of work that very gently because I don't want to damage the insulation underneath. But I do want to get to the, you know, those separate wires. So just very gently. I'm using absolutely no force, just literally the sawing action. <clears throat> right, there we go. So without damaging the inner wires at all, we've uh, separated those out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one. It's it's pretty arbitrary as long as I get it right the next time. But at this stage, I'm just going to chuck, cut one about halfway. You will notice, by the way, the difference in the size of the wire. It is, as predicted, massive. But it's down to what I conveniently had. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, we'll just strip these off and solder them up like that. Boom. 
and the same on the other end. And all will be well, he said. <laughs> and it goes without saying, which is what we say when we're going to say something anyways, because it should be obvious, but may not be, that um, it's worth testing that that all works before doing all the heat shrink. Oh, and you can obviously see the, the benefit of the staggered joints. It means there's no way, naturally, that those are going to short. I mean, obviously, you could, you could force them to short. Um, and then when, when we get the insulation, you know, the heat shrink on, all will be well. So on with the testing. Uh, that's the switch. Power comes out there. So uh, I've wedged it in the window again. Turn it on and ta-da! It still works. So, yeah, we've uh, cut off the top bit of the cover. I suppose it's cover, isn't it? Um, and I think that's just going to do, really, just to hold it, the switch in place. And that's fairly sturdy when the other bit of cover's done. Um, making a guesstimate of where to cut it. As you can see, I've started cutting it already. And the way I cut it, I'm not sure it's the official way, just with a knife to just break those two um, longer strips and then bend it and just, you know, kind of wear it out. So, here's the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs>